Hello everyone. I hope that you are having an excellent day. So today we've got another palette and this one is Tarte Pro Remix. All right. And I'm going to get it really close to you so you can really see it. It says Tardiest at the bottom. Pro Remix Amazonian Clay Palette. All right. And it's net weight 1 gram or 0 0.0335 ounces. Okay. All right. And this is the back of the palette. All right. All right. And I know you probably can't read all that. Neither can I. So I'm not going to try. Well, maybe I could try the first part. Okay, it just talks about the palette. Um, okay, so this, it should, it says it's cruelty free. And um, actually, most time they say where they were made. Um, wow. So, let me look um, on, um, I have the website right here, and I'm going to show you this to you, okay? So, okay, so let me see if I can do this. All right, so, this is the website, okay? That's what it looks like, okay? <laughs> And, um, um, so, uh, Tardiest Pro Remix Amazon, Amazonian Clay Palette, on sale for 32 regular 49 all right, and, um, let me see here, there's, um, I'm going to show you, I'm covering the, Okay, so, oh, let's not do that. We won't do that. Okay, so, um, so that's what, um, it's on sale right now, and I'll have all that information in the description box. Right now, we are going to look at, um, um, the palette. So, I keep the palette in the box. So, um, sometimes I do that. Now, I have another question. I have um, some palettes that you can't get anymore. Do you want me to do a look with those palettes? If you do, I will. They could come back, though. Um, some palettes have come back. So, um, let me know if you want me to do a look. Like, I've got a UD palette. Okay, now check this. Look at this. Just a minute, I just have to show you this. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear this. It's got these little, it's got like grids. These little grids. Let's see if you can, if I can get it in the light and you can see these grids up close. See the, the first time I got this and I videoed it, I was trying to show you the grids. There, there. There, you can see them. For a second, you could. It's got these grids going up the front of it. Can you see that? See those grids? Yeah, there you can. You can see the grids. And that's, this is the sound it makes. Yeah, that. There it is. That's, it, it's got all these grids. Let me see if you can see in the light, you can really see it. Well, I can see it heavily in the light, but yeah, that's the sound it makes. So, okay, I just thought, thought that was interesting. Okay, so this, um, it says New York, um, let's see, made in the USA by Tarte, New York, all right. And this is the back of it, and it's really, um, 
mirror, uh, you know, glassy, showy. Not showy, but that. Okay, so now we're going to open this. And th this is, it is not a, um, you know, a lot of over-the-counter. It's plastic. No, this is not plastic at all. It's heavy metal. Okay, here we go. It's got a huge mirror on the inside. So I will show you that. Okay. And um, it doesn't open all the way. It just like sits like so. Okay. And I'm swatching this for you. And then uh, I'll do the look. So um, this is what this is what the palette looks like. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top. All right, and the first one, Spin, Inspiration, Art Deco, Artist, and Color Explosion. All right, so this is the very first. This is the first row. Just a minute, let me come down. No, no. there we go. So you can see the names. Okay. Spin. Let me see here. Spin. Inspiration. Art Deco. Artist. And come here. Color Explosion. All right, here we go. I apologize for that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this quickly. Quickly. Okay, so this spin, inspiration, art deco, artist. All right, okay, so just a minute and let me wipe this off and then we will go to the second row. I think, let me look and see if I forgot one in there, not forgot, but they've got these little round ones. Let me make sure I got it. No, I think I did. Uh, no, I didn't. So, color explosion. So, the last one is the round ones, and I'll get that in just a minute. All right, so here we go. All right, okay, next. The last one the on the round on the side and the top one is color explosion yeah I got that this is color explosion okay there are four round on the side and the rest of them are square here we go okay so next next row is wall art flow do it yourself ink and then the round is beat drop so wall art flow um do it yourself ink and beat drop there it is okay that's the second row all right here we go wall art flow do it yourself, ink, and then the last one I'll do just a moment. Okay. Um, wall art, flow, do it yourself, ink, oh, and then one more is beat drop. Just a minute, I'll get that one. Okay. Let me wipe that off. All right, one more, okay, and that is beat drop, and that's the round. Look how pretty that is. Oh, my goodness. Yay. Okay. All right, the third row is um, mixed media, mixed media, splatter, outside the lines, um, mic drop, and graphic, okay? So, mixed media, splatter, um, outside the lines, mic drop, oh, and then graphic. Graphic is 
It's pretty. Here we go. Third one. Next media. Splatter. Outside the lines. Mic drop. Okay. Mixed media, splatter, outside the lines, mic drop. Okay. Just kind of make sure you see that. Okay. Then, one last one. All right. Here we go. Okay. The last one there is graphic. Look at how pretty that purple. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Last row. Okay. Graffiti, Moonlit, Mashup, Sway, and Create. Graffiti, Moonlit, Mashup, uh, Sway, and Create. All right. So here we go. Graffiti. Moonlit, mashup, sway, okay. All right, just a minute here. All right. Okay, here we go. Graffiti, moonlit, mashup, sway, okay. Here we go. Boy, I mean, there's some really, really pretty colors in here. All right. And then one last one. Just a minute. Let's create. All right. So, last one is create. All right. Okay. So, I think... I am going to do, um, I think I'm going to do, um, create on the very inner, okay, wait, just a minute, let me take a look at this, okay, that's going to be a little too dark, but that can be really good on the very outside, um, I definitely want to create, and then, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do, Let's see, do it yourself. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, so um, I'm going to do. I'll show you. Show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to do create on the very inside. Where is it? There we go. Create on the very inside. Then I'm going to do um uh is do it yourself did not just pick out this is a gray it looks kind of grayish i don't know do it, then i'm gonna, going to do do it yourself right there see that and then uh the last one i'm going to do is um um beat drop so create uh do it yourself and then uh beat drop which is over this way, that's it, right there, okay, that's what I'm going to do, okay, so, here we go, I think they're close enough in family, but they're far enough in color that um, they'll look really good together, okay, so, first things first, all right, I forgot my primer, all right, <laughs> I'll be right back. Just a minute, everyone. All right, so yesterday, this is my Milani. Yesterday, I showed you the difference between Primer Potion and Milani. All right, and some people might really like Primer Potion better. And I understand that because of, um, um, you know, uh, it comes with the doe foot, so I understand that. It might be easier for them to deal with. All right. You know, they need the... All right, so I have my um, mirror here. And um, 
I'm going to be looking at my mirror. At the same time I do that, I'm going to um, um, make sure that you see everything I'm doing here. You know. So, here we go. So, this, um, you don't need a lot just a little bit and it sets in 30 seconds and it sets clear and in primer potion uh this is original so just a little bit okay all right and so i just put this like so okay and then i just apply so here in case you there we go i've been making sure that I, um, um, get everything up close. Okay, here we go. And I used to only do apply on my lower, uh, my lower lid, but now I'm just going all the way up to the top, so. All right, here we go. So, while that is setting, I'm going to go ahead, and today, I'm not using Milani. Today, I'm using my Too Faced Killer Cajel, okay? And this is not a MAC pen. Um, I mean, look, I don't think so, though. This does not have a sharpener in the, in the back, okay? Or a smudger. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. It says 12 hour long wear and intense black Kajal liner. All right. So this is what it looks like. All right. All right. And I will do a little swatch for you. There you go. Okay. So I'm starting with this. All right. And I just want to. You know, make sure that you see everything. Here we go. Here we go. So. Um, I hope you're having a great day. I hope your week is going well. And, um... Who really, really, really likes winter? You know, it's their favorite this time of year. Because some people really do like winter or autumn, that sort of thing. And who really likes spring? Who really likes spring and summer? I definitely like it, the warmer temps. I definitely do. So, that's true. But, you know, some people really do like winter time. All right, so. Aside from that, um, I definitely don't like cold. That's not my, except in the summertime. You know, when it's 100 degrees and everything, and then you need the swamp cooler going or air conditioner. All right. So I did that. Now we are going to... I have my brushes. Okay, so my brushes... Um, just a minute here. Okay, so my shadow brush is not an authentic shadow brush because most shadow brushes are too big for my eyes. Um, my pinky, okay, is larger than my lower lid, which is where the makeup goes. And um, shadow brushes are a lot bigger than my eyes. I mean, this is probably small for most people <laughs> as far as a shadow brush this is actually a blending brush all right 
um, and it could be a little bit smaller, but it's okay. So um, I use this because I can control the amount of shadow I put on. And, you know, there's no way I could use a full-size uh, shadow brush. So just want you to know, these are both e.l.f. This is actually a concealer brush, not, not a um, shadow brush. So I used to use a Wet n Wild brush, and when I saw this one, I started using it. All right, so I said we are going to do Create in the um, far corner, and it is really, really pretty. So... To remind you, there's create. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay, here we go. Alright. So this is going in the middle. Alright. Not in the middle. On the very inner corner. Alright. And I'm going to take it around like so. Okay. Like so. All the way. Okay. Like that. It is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. I just like it. Um, I have another palette with this color in it. And this is like, um, it looks gray or greenish, grayish, I guess, but it's got a lot of red underneath it. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it, it has a lot of, um, um, green or red in it. it here it looks gray. But, um, yeah, it has a lot of red. It is really, really, really pretty. I have another, um, palette with this color. And I really like it. Okay. Just a minute. I'm going to take that around the lower part right there. There we go. All right. Now, um, the middle color, I'm going to add just a, pull that up a little bit. There we go. And then I overlap my colors, so I'm going to bring this over just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to overlap, and then, okay, so the second color is, um, this one, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Right there. So I'm taking this color. Okay. And I'm going to go to the, um, here we go, midsection. Overlap it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same with the other color. All right. Let me like deepen that up a little bit. Okay. All right, then. Here we go. All right, there we go. All right. Then the last color I said was beat drop. There's graphic too. I don't know. 
complimentary swatch. What do we think? Do we think the purple or do we think? I kind of wanted to stay in the same family, you know? That's what I kind of wanted to do, is stay in the family. I think we will. We'll just stay in the family, so I think we'll just go with that one. All right, so I'm going to wipe my hand off here. Because I did see the purple and I thought, well, but I think we'll just stay in the, uh, you know, the color family. Okay. Here we go. But what I could do is I did bring it, that one color around on the inside. But instead of doing that with a uh, beet drop, what I could do, I'll put that on the, the outside. So I've got that. I could take that purple and put it on the bottom. I could do that. I really could. Okay, so here we go. Put beet drop on the... There we go. I got it on the side. Here. I apologize. There we go. I don't think I need to deepen. Actually, I should. Okay, here we go. Again, and I'm going to have to wipe. I already know, but there it is. Now, I'm going to take it on the other side. And then, um, there we go. We'll take the purple underneath. I think that will give it some dimension. I mean, it will really like, you know, instead of, you know, it'll just make our eyes go boink. Okay. Let me go ahead and wipe this off. All right, I wipe that off. Now, here we go. A little bit of graphic. I mean, really, really pretty. It's on my, and I mean really pretty. Oh my goodness, here we go. So, here we go. That is really just going to, um, there we go. Look at that. All right, I'm going to take it on the other side. Do the same thing. Okay, so there is a little bit, can't even see it. Uh, there's just a little bit, just a teeny bit, just a, a slight area right here of uh, fall uh, powder um, ball, but not much, not much. And I got a little bit um, lower than what I wanted to, but it's okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is uh, blend a little bit here. All right, not too much because I like them to keep their um, individual um, characteristic. Okay. Sometimes I've been, I'm not, uh, I apologize if I have kept it in front and you couldn't see the application. Okay. So I think, what do I think? All right. So I'm probably going to need to clean up around uh, that. It's okay. Uh, I probably will. All right. 
So I think I'm going to wipe up a little bit with the purple underneath just a little bit because it came down a little bit lower than what I wanted. But it um, it offsets um, the color a little bit. And I like that. Okay, so here we go. Put that down. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm going to clean that up just a little bit so it's not super low. All right, then I'm going to clean up that. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same. And it's not too much over here, though. Just a little bit. All right. All right. So... Here we go. So I think, I think that's good. I think it is. I really like those colors and that purple. I like it so much. All right. So now a uh, liner. My liner and um. I'm going to reline my waterline again, just, um, you know, it, it's on there. Okay, I just want to make sure you see it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, um, okay, all right, now my waterline liner, not waterline, lash line, top lash line liner, here we go, that's what it looks like, okay. Right. Here we go. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear that, but I live um, not too far from the airport. Um, so if you heard that, that's what that was. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounded really loud, so. Okay. All right. I think my, my jug liner here, my Milani, just sets it off so great. Really do. Right. What do we think? Hmm? Okay, going to the other side. You know, I've said that if I had a palette with a color or more than one that I really, really, really liked a lot, you know, um, I would 
either buy several of those palettes so that I would always have that one color or however many. And if I had other palettes by, you know, like other brands that had the color, I mean, I would stock up. Because, you know, I appreciate different colors, but if there's colors that I really, really, really like, then, you know, I'll make sure that I get more. So I always have those colors. I mean, I can get new colors as much as I want. But when there's colors that you really, you know, there's one or two or more in this palette that you really, really like. Um, and like sometimes, um, you know, other uh, brands will come out with the same color. I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. So I used a color, I used a color uh, today that was like that. I think the color is so pretty and it's really unique. All right, so there we go. Okay, I'm going to do mascara and then I'm going to get this other palette to show you what I mean. All right. This is Makeup Volume by Wet n Wild. And this is the brush. All right. Okay. Here we go. I have so many of those mascaras because I really, really like them. All right. All right, I am going to go get that other color. And I might even have, I might have a wet and wild, um, palette that has the same, um, same one, and they all, it all look, you know, they all look the same, all right, um, I don't know if you could get, you know, uh, I don't think that the one palette you can get, but I think you can still get the other palette that I was thinking about. All right. And the link for this palette is down, it will be down in there. So if you like the palette, you can get it. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to go get that palette and I will show it to you and I will swatch the colors so you can see them. All right, so I'll be right back. And we will swatch uh, colors just a minute. All right, here we go. So a refresher here. Tart. Open up. Tart. Just a minute. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let's see. Create. Okay. Is this the one? Maybe it's another one. No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so like like that, 
like that. See that? And it's got, and let me even use this other finger. This is Create. It's Create. Whoops. I apologize, people. It's Create right there in the corner. Okay. All right, so I have two fingers. Okay, so this is the way it looks, and it's got like this reddish. Okay, I'm using two fingers. Okay, now, now we're going to do, okay, this is UD, Urban Decay Stone Vibes, Stoned Vibes. Okay, so, um, we're going to look at Bloodstone. All right. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it does. It comes with a, a brush. Okay. We're looking at stone vibes. I apologize for the condition of the palette. I did this. Okay. Let's look at bloodstone. Okay. Here we go. Bloodstone. See that? Green. Okay. And red. So, with my other finger, I'm going to do this. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, people. Now, I'm not done yet. Okay, I'm going to swatch that a little bit harder. There we go. See? Now, let's take a look at, um, um, Let's see, I did tart, right? Yeah, I already did tart. Okay, let me do this again. In succession, we'll start with tart, and then I'll go to wet and wild, and then I'll go to stony pipes. Okay, here we go. Tart. That way I know what I did. All right, tart. So tart. Here we go. Create. That's the first one, okay? And you can really see the red underneath. Whoops. Here we go. Okay, create. Then, then, I'm going to put wet and wild in the middle, okay? Okay, wet and wild. And wet and wild, and that was this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. Nope, it's definitely not it. Okay, yeah, it's definitely that one. Okay, all right. Last one here, and I'm going to go to um, okay. So I did tart, okay. And then the second one was wet and wild, and now stone vibes, okay. There we go. There we go. All three in succession, okay. Same color. I've had this one for a while, but look at that, same color, all of them, all right, so, um, that one in this one reminded me of that, and I wanted to show you that, I think all the colors in this are really, really pretty, I haven't used this one for a while, but I still like it, but I don't think I can get it, so... All right, so I think that is all for this video. So I have more coming, okay? More coming, more on the way. So be ready. All right, everyone. I think that that, oh, and Stone Vibes did come with a, it comes with a brush. All right. So I think that is all for this video, and um, 
So I love all of you. Thank you for being my crew. I appreciate you. Um, just wait till you see what's coming. Just wait till you see. And um, um, well, you'll find out. So I've got another one tomorrow, and then I've got um, uh, some more after that. So we're we're still going. We're still we still have stuff. So we have a lot of stuff. And if I go past um, what I've already pulled out, I have a lot. So, um, but we're 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 only going to do right now um, the ones on my list. After that. All you know, we'll go from there. So, all right, everyone, I love you all. Um, have a great day and have a great night tonight. And um, I will see all of you in my next video. So, have a good one, everyone.